five decibels uh, prior to start. We'll turn the Honda EU 2000 on. Seventy-seven decibels right at the unit. We'll go to uh, twenty feet now. Okay, at twenty feet. Fifty-eight decibels. We'll go to thirty. Fifty-four, fifty-five decibels at thirty feet, and now we'll back it up to fifty. between 50 and 51 decibels at 50 feet. Now we're gonna run it on high. So now we're gonna test the uh, Honda under a load. We have here a 15 watt heat gun. We're gonna run it on the high setting so we're getting the full uh, 1500 watts. We also have a voltmeter plugged in so you can see the voltage drop. So we'll test the sound as well as the voltage drop once we engage this heat gun. Right now, uh, well, before we just drop now, we were reading uh, 100 and 127 volts pretty consistently. So now we'll engage the heat gun on high, and uh, you can watch a slight jump and hear the motor rev up when we engage the heat gun. And watch the voltmeter as well. Here we go. So we jump up to about 90 decibels. Ninety decibels and a short voltage drop to about a hundred volts and then back up to 123. Let's go to 20 feet. 20 feet under a load. 67, 68, go to 30. 63 to 66, a little bit of a variation there. And now we'll go to 50. 60 decibels. So under a full load, 60 decibels, uh, 1500 watt load under, uh, under the uh, Honda EU, uh, 60 decibels at 50 feet. Westinghouse iGen 2000 at the unit, ambient noise, 45. Seems to be about the same. We'll go ahead and crank it up. Uh, under eco mode first. Seventy-seven decibels and 124 volts on the voltmeter. Let's go to 20 feet. 57, 58, 58 at 20 feet. Let's go to 30. 54 and at 50 feet. 52 decibels at 50 feet. Now let's go put a load on it. Now we're going to put a load on it. Keep an eye on the voltmeter and we'll hear this thing rev up. Again, 1500 watts. Watch the voltage drop again. We drop below 100. 88, 89 decibels. Let's go to 20 feet under load. 71 decibels, 30 feet. 68 decibels and now at 50 feet. 67 and a half at 50 feet under a load. Energizer Easy V2000. Same, about 45 decibels uh, ambient. Let's fire it up. This is under eco mode.
77, 78 decibels and 125 to 127 volts. Let's go to 20 feet. 58 decibels at 20 feet. Let's go to 30. 55 decibels at 30 feet. Let's go to 50. It's pretty quiet. 52 decibels at 50 feet. We'll go put it under a load and watch the voltage. Here we go under a load. Eighty-six decibels under a load. Let's watch the voltage. From 125 to 127 and here comes the power. Drop to a 107 and back up to a 120. Let's go to 20 feet. 20 feet under a load. 68, 69 decibels. 30 feet. 63 to 66 decibels, about the same as the other one. Let's go to 50 feet under a load. 59 to 60 decibels. So that one would be good in a national park setting. Under a, a pretty decent load, under 60 decibels. All right, now we're gonna test the Energizer EZV3000. And I got the remote start. 45 decibels at the unit, no load. Here we go. Eighty-four decibels. Let's go to twenty feet. Sixty-eight decibels at twenty feet. We'll go to thirty. Sixty-six decibels at thirty feet. We'll go to sixty. Or fifty feet, sorry. 55, 56 decibels at 50 feet. Let's go put it under a load. All right, we're gonna put it under a load, reading 122, 123 volts. 83 decibels and here comes the load. Ninety-five decibels under load, and let's watch the voltage. Let's drop to about 116 and back up to 122. Let's go to 20 feet. 72 decibels at 20 feet. We'll go to 30. 68 decibels at 30, and now at 50 feet under a load. Sorry, 50 feet, yep. 61, 62 decibels at 50 feet on the Energizer. Uh, this is, a, again, an electric start. Ready? <laughs> 83 decibels at the unit. And 123 volts, we'll go to 20 feet. 60 decibels at 20 feet, pretty quiet. Now to 30. 56 and a half at 30, now let's go to 50 feet. 53 decibels at 50 feet, no load, let's put it under a load. All right, let's put the Champion 3500 under a load. Not much of a jump from 82 to 87 and then back down to 85. Let's watch the voltmeter. We're reading 120. Brief dip to 114 and back up to 20. Let's go to 20 feet. Sixty-seven decibels at 20 feet. 30 feet? 61 decibels, and now we'll go to 50. 57 decibels under load at 50 feet for the Champion 3500. I think that's the quietest generator we've tested yet under load. About 40 
45, 46 uh, decibels ambient. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn this on in eco mode first. About 74 decibels on eco mode and 124 volts. We'll go to uh, 20 feet right now. 58 decibels at 20 feet. We'll go to 30 now, 30 feet now. 54 decibels, and now we'll go to 50 feet. 51 decibels at 50 feet. Now let's go put it under a load. Here we go under a load. Five decibels under a load and now let's watch the voltage drop 124 before the load is applied and here comes the load a drop to 89 and now back up to about 120 again 86 decibels under load at the unit will go to 20 feet Sixty-eight decibels at twenty feet will go to thirty. Sixty-six and a half, sixty-seven decibels at thirty feet. Now let's go to fifty. Under a load. Fifty-nine, sixty decibels at fifty feet. Now we're going to test a PowerMate thirty-five hundred watt. Uh, Coleman PowerMate generator. It's a Subaru motor open frame generator as, a por uh, as opposed to the uh, inverter generators that we've tested. So we want to show you the noise difference as well as the, the voltage consistency on an open frame generator versus an inverter generator. So first we'll get an ambient uh, noise reading. Same as the other ones, uh, 45 decibels uh, at rest here. Now we'll go ahead and fire this, uh, this generator up. decibels at the unit will go to 20 feet 75 76 at 20 feet will go to 30 73 decibels at 30 feet will go to 50 70 decibels at 50 feet now we're gonna put it under a load the load literally the same 77 decibels at 20 feet will go to 30 75 76 at 30 feet and now 50 72 73 uh, decibels at 50 feet under a load 